Hi everyone, I'm Nancy. Today, I'm going to still read this new book, I Wonder Why, The Sun Rises. Let's start. Okay. Why are there only two seasons? Many tropical countries have only two seasons in the year. One is very wet and the other very dry. Not many trees manage to survive the dry months. And animals travel hundreds of kilometers searching for food and water. Many, many animals migrate in different seasons. Every year, swarms of monarch butterflies leave Mexico and fly 3,000 kilometers to spend the summer by cool Canada lakes. During the dry season, the ground is baked hard by the hot sun. Clouds of dust cover everything and everyone. In the dry season, herds of wild beasts and zebra cross the grasslands of Central Africa. They follow the thunder clouds in search of rainwater and fresh grass. Tropical lands lie near the equator. They are the warmest part of the earth. Where does it pure for a month? Some parts in, of India and Southeast Asia have long, heavy downpours, cold monsoons. Big black clouds are, blown, are, are blown in from the sea during the summer months. Once the rain starts, it can, least, it can last for weeks, flooding the fields and the streets. Who can tell the time without a clock? We all can. Inside every one of us, there's something we call our body clock. It wakes us up every morning and tells us it's breakfast time. And all through the day, we seem to know just when it's time to work, eat, and play. As evening comes, we get tired and get ready to sleep. Different kinds of animals live to different kinds of clock. A bee and a badger never meet. One is a t active by day and the other is active by night. Can flowers tell the time? A few flowers are such good timekeepers that they open at the same time every day. Gardeners sometimes plant flowers like these in flower clocks. There are as many as 12 different flowers in the clock and they open one after another as the hours pass. Animals have body clocks too. In zoos and on farms, many of them know when it's feeding time. Can animals tell the time? Some wild animals are active by day and others wake only at night. They can't tell the time of day and night, but some animals know the time of year. The, ca the Canadian snowshoe, snowshoe hare knows when winter's coming. It grows a white fur coat to hide it from foxes when the snow arrives. Which calendar was carved in stones. Many hundreds of years ago, people called the Aztecs lived in Central America. They made a calendar from a huge stone shaped like the sun. Uh, the face of the sun god was carved in the middle. 
and signs for the days were carved all around the edge. Who invented our calendar? More than 2,000 years ago, a Roman ruler called Jul Julius Caesar invented a calendar we use today. He gave each year 365 days and arranged them in 12 months. Since then, the calendar has hardly changed. What is a leap year? Each four year we have what we call a leap year. This is a year with 366 days instead of 365. The extra day is added to the end of the February. So if the birthday calls falls on February 29, it's a very special day indeed. A leap year can always be divided by four with none left over. The years 2012, 2016, and 2020 are all leap years. And I was born in 2012. But I wasn't born on February 29th, so that is, uh, my birthday is not the special day. Why do we need calendars? Most of us need calendars to help us remember all the things we plan in a year, but they also help us keep track of time. When people are shipwrecked or taken hostage, they find unusual ways to mark the passing days. Okay, today I will just read these sentences, no, these um, questions, and I will end this video here, right here. Goodbye! Goodbye!